So we all knew that this was coming, but now it is official. Nina Turner is officially running to represent Ohio's 11th congressional district, and she made this announcement via Twitter, releasing this ad. I am a daughter of Cleveland. I was raised in this community by parents who worked very hard. My mother was a nurse's aide, my father a truck driver. I can relate to people who live in the 11th congressional district from all walks of life. I am you. As a Cleveland City Councilwoman, I worked to secure housing for seniors. As an Ohio State Senator, I stood with working families and labor to maintain collective bargaining rights. I led the effort to create the Ohio Task Force on Community and Police Relations. I know that the struggle was real. I want to serve as your next Congresswoman because I believe that everyone deserves a good job, health care, and our children deserve to be educated from pre-K to college. I will go to Congress to help our community recover from the coronavirus, including helping small businesses and those who have been hardest hit. We are going to do great things together. Let's get to work. I am Nina Turner, and I'm running for Congress. I am hyped. I could not be more excited about this. It's something to look forward to and something that I think we need, like to see Nina Turner in Congress. The things that she'd be able to accomplish, like her leadership skills, her passion, this honestly is a game changer. Like this isn't an ordinary congressional race. This is Nina Turner. So we absolutely have to do everything in our power to make sure that she is elected. But one thing that I want to emphasize is I don't want the left to be arrogant. I don't want us to just think it's Nina Turner, so she's got this in the bag. I think that she has a phenomenal chance of winning, but if we fail her by getting too cocky and complacent, she won't win. So it's not a foregone conclusion that she wins. We have to fight for her. That means that if we can, we donate to her. I donated $27 the minute she made this announcement official, and uh, I signed up for reoccurring donations each month. So you have to do what you can. If you can't spare money during this time when it's really difficult, even a buck or two will help. But if you can't actually support her monetarily, then phone banking for her that is going to go a really long way. We have to make sure that we fight because this is not a guaranteed win. We cannot lose this opportunity, so we have to fight for Nina Turner. And I get that it's Nina Turner, so, you know, she's going to do well. But we, we can't just be too arrogant. That's what I want to stress here. Having said that, though, she's already off to a phenomenal start, and she has lots of very high-profile endorsements. So as Holly Otterbein of Politico reports, top progressive elected officials, groups, and entertainers are throwing their weight behind Nina Turner's congressional campaign, setting up a clash between left-wing and establishment-oriented Democrats over a House seat in Ohio just as President-elect Joe Biden is about to take office. Representative Ro Khanna, Bernie Sanders' former campaign co-chair, Representative-elect Cory Bush, a Black Lives Matter activist who unseated an incumbent Democrat, and Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison are endorsing Turner, her campaign told Politico. Our Revolution, a progressive organization founded by Sanders and previously led by Turner, will be backing her bid as well. Our Revolution Executive Director Joseph Givarghiz said the organization has more than 16 thousand supporters in Ohio who are ready to do the phone banking, texting, and door-to-door -door canvassing for Turner. Rapper Killer Mike and actor Danny Glover, who both campaigned for Sanders, are also backing Turner, and the musician is going to push for her on Instagram, Turner said in an interview. Charlemagne the God, the co-host of the popular radio show The Breakfast Club, is also getting behind her, she said. The boost from high-profile elected officials and artists could help fuel a money surge for Turner, whose fans are hoping she'll come out of the gate with impressive of fundraising numbers in the opening days of her special election race. A number of other Democrats are expected to throw their hat in the ring for the rare chance at an open congressional seat. Chantel Brown, the leader of the Cuyahoga County Democratic Party, whom Fudge supported when she ran for that post, has said she is running if the Senate confirms the Congresswoman. Because the district is heavily Democratic, the winner of the primary is all but certain to carry the general election. Another candidate, former Cleveland City Councilman Jeff Johnson, has already taken a shot at Turner, suggesting suggesting that the progressive wouldn't work with Biden if elected. You know what it sounds like to me, Jeff? It sounds like you're afraid of Nina Turner. And I don't blame you because Nina Turner is a political behemoth and she has millions of people behind her just automatically and thousands of people 
on the ground in Ohio ready to go to bat for her. So I don't blame you for taking shots at her, but understand that if you're going to attack Nina Turner, we will defend Nina Turner. So she has all of those endorsements, and she also got this endorsement from, of course, none other than Bernie Sanders. This was expected, but it's really nice to see. She doesn't even have to put out a platform. I mean, of course she will, but we know exactly what she stands for. Medicare for all, student debt cancellation, actually fighting for a future, a Green New Deal. This is someone who is truly like the best representative we could imagine. And to have her in Congress, I just can't overstate how much of a game changer this will be. There's a reason why so many progressive pundits like myself, Kokolinsky, David Dole, we are all so excited about Nina Turner because we need her in Congress. She really is the ultimate fighter and perhaps the next leader of the progressive left movement. So absolutely go to bat for Nina Turner. Donate to Nina Turner. Uh, don't just donate though. Uh, volunteer for Nina Turner. We have to put in the work to make sure that this victory becomes a reality. We cannot get complacent and just expect her to win automatically because she's Nina Turner. We have to fight for that reality. Fight for it because the establishment is not going to want to see Nina Turner win. There's going to be a lot of people probably who will throw their hats in the ring and I wouldn't be surprised if they try something like Bloody Monday where if it doesn't look like any one individual can beat Nina Turner, maybe they all consolidate support behind one establishment candidate. We have to expect the unexpected and be prepared to actually fight and not just accept that, you know, the result is guaranteed to us. So let's fight and let's get Nina Turner elected to Congress. I am all for this.